Hey everybody, it's me, the Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. We are at day last of the Bogue Knitting Live. And thank you so much for being part of Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl for the past four days, if you've been joining us. If it's your first day here, we're so glad you're here. And we are loving all the interaction that we've had all weekend with our fans here on Facebook and at the Vogue Knitting Live Marketplace. It's been an amazing weekend. So please be sure to tell us who you are, where you're from, and let us know for sure it's just, if it's the first time you're joining us. So Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl has another fun day of tips and projects for you here at our little shop. And I thought since it's the last day, I'd start off our day the same way we did the first day. And that is by letting everyone know that Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl is a mobile yarn shop. We have always been all about yarn to the people. We started our business about three years ago out of a 25 foot minibus. And we have grown to a global online store. I have to say thanks to COVID and thanks to all of you for joining us during that time. It's been a, you know, it's been a tough time with COVID and we have found a way to bring happiness into the lives of knitters and even some non-knitters along the way who we've met. So thanks for joining us. And do we have some folks on with us yet? Yes, we do. We have a number of folks. We have Debbie Hudson Henry viewing from Cancun, Mexico. Oh, our first Mexico viewer that's been told and or, or has come to let us know where they're from. That's wonderful. Welcome. You know, that's great because we actually need to add Mexico to our map of places we ship to. Wink, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> How are things there in Mexico? I hope you're having your you're all safe and cozy and that we don't have any hurricanes getting near any of you. I know that there were some our hurricanes out on the west coast of Florida, so not sure if that's affected anybody there. But we're glad you're here with Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Anybody else? Leticia Castro. Hello from Miami, Florida. Nice to see you guys. Helen Solenberger. Happy Sunday from Buffalo. Thank you. And Antoinette Kellum. Hey. Hey, Antoinette. <laughs> Tasha LH. Hello, Tasha. Where are you coming from? She's coming from. She's coming from the World Wide Web. She's out there watching us from who knows where. But um, and thank you for all of all of you who have supported us this past weekend. Remember, when you buy this weekend, your shipping is free for uh, for purchases over fifty dollars. All you need to put in the um, in the discount section is or the the code is VK Live. That's VK Live. And that'll be free shipping on orders over $50 in the U.S. And if you're outside the U.S., we will refund $10 of your shipping costs to say thank you to you for uh, shipping, uh, for buying with us outside the U.S. We know that that can get a little pricey and we appreciate that. Debbie Hudson Henry says, I survived the hurricane that came through Cancun. Yeah. Tasha LH, your website is awesome. Thank you. Tasha LH, hi from Texas. Well, we do our best to keep that website up to date. When we have shows like this, it's a little hard. We're always adding new product and, and trying to keep it up to date and up to the moment with products. I was just putting something on before the show started today, like within three minutes of us going on. I'd like to have everything up there when I can. So if all of you, well, go ahead. Before we get started, we want to remind the viewers of our sharing program. Okay, so when you share Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl with your friends, it doesn't have to be this post or this show. It can be our page at any time. And share the with, show. Share with your friends and your name goes into our sharing bucket. And we randomly, not every time we're on, um, sometimes we'll just go, we'll do a quick live in the middle of the day for no reason at all and um, and choose a name. And we, we give away free gifts. Free gifts, meaning yarn, uh, knitting books, and things like that. So you never know when we're going to pick a name. You know, to be fair to the audience and to give them an extra chance, why don't we show them how to share, and then maybe at 1230 we can pull a name. <laughs> I guess maybe we could. So this is my executive producer slash husband. Um, what else are you there, Paul? Oh, oh my goodness, he's my internet guy. He does everything here. Uh, caring is sharing in this house, and we do work together. So uh, thank you to Paul. And, oh, he's also become known as the Mr. Announcer Man. 
and he just loves to announce and share with all the people on our page. So all what right. you got there, honey? Let's quickly show him. Sharing and is caring, and it's as easy as one, two, three. On the left, on the bottom of the post, you see share. Step number two, up on the top where it says you have to change it to public. That way we're notified and all of the other people are notified. And step number three, just click on the share button and voila, you are sharing it like royalty. And we're glad that you are. So thank you so much. So sharing the love is real important. And uh, you don't have to, You if you share six times, believe it or not, your name goes into the sharing bucket six times. We've had people that have won more than once. Yes. And sometimes if you win too close in a row, we have to say, let's share with everybody. <laughs> Michelle Worth Price just shared, exclamation point. There you go. Perfect. As a matter of fact, Rochelle was won one of our um, she won one of our sharing boxes or something. I remember. Um, so yeah, we love we love when our when our uh, our fans share with uh, with all their friends. So tell all your friends at twelve thirty Eastern. We're going to be pulling a name out of the box, yeah. and someone is going to win. Oh, but wait a minute. Hold on. You can go that because I had a few names that had to go in from yesterday. I thought. Wait a minute. Oh no, I put them in already. Okay. They're all in, all the folks who shared yesterday. Okay, so let's let's get to why you came here, and that's to see some great projects and to uh, and enjoy yarn. So this weekend has been very, very interesting because I put up the Descent Cowl. I put it up, um, this was, it went live on, on our uh, website earlier this week. It's been a really popular item, and you may have seen this, uh, this project by Carissa Browning, I believe is her name. I wanna give her due credit. Um, on Ravelry, it was one of the most popular patterns out on Ravelry. And so I decided I wanted to do mine a little bit different. So I approached it using Aran yarn. And the yarn that I use is Noro Silk, um, Noro Silk Garden, right. And Silk Garden Solo, careful there when you're walking by. So that is a beautiful project. We also have it on our website in the DK weight that it's calls for in the pattern. And the DK weight comes out quite a bit smaller. I followed the same exact instructions on the pattern. I just used a heavier weight yarn here. And I believe I used a size eight needle, whatever the, um, uh, no, it was a seven needle. Rochelle Worth Price, it's true. Juniper Moon Farms. I think that's what she won last time. That's right. That's right. You won the, you, that's right. You won the Juniper Moon Farms drawing. Francine S. Rogers, hello from Boca Raton, Florida. Wow, Boca Raton, that's a great little place. So this is the this is the um, the descent cowl using, and I'm you can see that I'm just now getting. I'm right here on this little border section just before we go down to the mosaic, and I'm anxious to get it done. I am so anxious to get it done. Do you do that when you're knitting? When you're like getting toward the end of a project, do you already wonder what's going to be on your needles next? Do you have your next project planned? I'm curious about that because I already have my next project planned from this one. And I put a little survey out on my page today. And I'm not sure if um, if you saw that. There's a very popular item right now on Ravelry. And um, that item is called a pocket shawl. And I remember when the pocket shawls first came out, I was like, eh, I don't know about this. And so I snapped, a, I, I took a screenshot of one and I kind of set it aside and I keep seeing them come up. And the more I see them, the more I like them. And so, and but I've gotten kind of, eh, I've gotten mixed comments from friends. So I decided to put it out there on Ravelry today. And, you know, I'm on Ravelry on, um, on our Facebook page uh, for a survey. So if you go out and you see that, you see the pocket shawl survey. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Betty Ridgeway Dodd, hello from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Oh, another Virginia fan. That's great. Gloria Freiheit, hello from Winona, Minnesota. So those of you who are joining us for the fr for the first time, um, we are always excited about where our viewers and our um, and our sales are coming from because that tells us where we're shipping. And you can look at our calendar, our, our calendar, our map there, and see that we, you know, we are really excited about all the places that we've shipped to. And uh, you know, like I said yesterday, there were some things about COVID that I wasn't happy about at all. But um, you know, it has given us the opportunity to meet so many folks 
in so many parts of the world because those little purple flowers there are people who are as we call it across the pond and uh, and are out in the netherlands and australia and new zealand so we love our fans from all over the world and the uk and the uk and possibly one from mexico today. we don't know that yet so let's show you some things here. Let's get you started. So we, the, the, the scent cowl was the first thing. You'll find that on our website. We have a great website at www.nittygrittyyarngirl.com. And if you just go into the search bar and put in whatever search terms you'd like, you know, descent, you will come up with not just one kit, but you'll come up with two. And the other is using Patagonia, which is a DK weight yarn. And this is an organic merino by Juniper Moon Farms. And you'll also find the yarn on the website as well. Let's see, Kelly Epsom Richards. Hi from Papa, Michigan. Uh -huh. And Francine S. Rogers, I cannot figure out how to share. Oh, all right. So if you just look at the, when you're, when you're on the page, the share button should be below the post. Does it show while you're, while it's on? Yes. Yeah. Just click that share button. Follow steps one, two, and three, and voila. Okay, so um, I mentioned yesterday we got in some new colors for the Papillon shawl, and that is, has been another very popular piece on our website. Papillon, uh, we, ha we actually um, paired it with Queensland Perth and Gadifra. Gadifra Lana Mia Uni. This is a fabulous, this is a fabulous yarn. This, this yarn is great, not, it, it's great for so many things. It's a fabulous sock yarn. You know, sometimes you want to knit socks and you want to have your toe and your heel in a solid and your sock in a design. And this is really, really pretty. So Lana Mia Uni is on our website and the online super socks are there as well. This is a great sock yarn by online. Look how pretty the designs are in this. And if you've ever wondered if you uh, thought about knitting socks and you've not done that yet, or you tried them and you had a, a little bit of a challenge, you know, one of the things that uh, we do at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl is we do classes. Yes, we do give classes online. And believe it or not, Zoom and just like that, you're knitting socks. That's the name of the class. We teach you magic loop, toe up, one at a time, and you'll learn how to knit socks with us. So we've got some, we've had some great uh, experiences with folks online learning how to knit socks. We do those mostly one on one. I'll do the click and knit, learn to knit classes um, with in little groups and small groups. But for the most part, we do socks one on one because that can be a little bit challenge challenging. Francine Kaplan fell. Hello from Northern California. Hey, is that is, are you anywhere near Eureka? Because Eureka, we have another fan out in Northern California too. And we've had lots of fans from California. So um, so when we do the socks, let me just give you a little bit of an idea of how it works. You're gonna start from the toe with um with a figure eight cast on. And then we teach you the increases. Oops, there we go. I don't know if the camera was moving or if it was me. <laughs> we teach you the increases here. And then we'll work up the foot and then your heel flap right there. And we, we teach you a reinforced heel flap and then the gusset to bring your heel and the and the front of the sock back together. And then we come up for your bind off. So it's a fun time. And um, we've got some reviews. We had some great experiences. So if you ever wanted to knit socks and you'd like to give it a try, we're more than happy to help you. Helen Solenberger, I really want to order the Descent Cowl. Is it difficult? No, if you can, you know, if you've ever done any knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, that's really all it is. Right here. You know, you're, I'm trying to remember the exact, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I have the pattern upstairs. While you're doing that, Francine Kaplan fell about five hours away from the Bay Area. Okay, so here you are. You know, this is knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. That's how you get that. And then the next row is pearl one, slip one, pearl one, slip one. The only thing that I would remind people 
is when you're on your purl rows because this is a knit one row purl one row in the round. You want to make sure that you're moving that yarn from front to back. So you purl with your yarn in front. Then you slip the yarn in the back before you slip your next stitch. So it's a little bit like remembering seed stitch when you got to go back and forth and back and forth. Francine Kaplan fell. That's pretty. It is pretty and we love it. So um, that is where it was. I, I was on the socks. And so the socks are there. Those of you who have seen our um, swan show, our Sophie's swan show. Let me grab that here because we have some new folks on. And, you know, those of you who are with us um, for four days and on our shows on Monday nights, you'll see that you do, we do have some repetition here, but we want to make sure that we find that we give as much attention to all the folks that we possibly can. Ruthann Holoshack, socks are delightful addiction. They are a delightful addiction. Connecticut, by the way, are you related to the late, great Ruth Gordon? Ruth Gordon? No. Hmm. No. Helen Solenberger. Oh, great. Thank you. Carolyn Wood. Hi. Thank you for your help yesterday. A pleasure to order from your store from Rio Verde, Arizona. I really do enjoy talking with you, or, or I should say communicating with you. I feel like we're talking all the time when we communicate so much. It's, it's great. I just love our customers. Nancy March. Good afternoon. What shawl are you wearing? I'm going to talk about the shawl I'm wearing in just a moment. I and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Helen Solenberger, a friend asked me to do any cro a friend asked me, do you do any crochet projects? You know, I, I don't have a lot of crochet projects on the website, but I do offer for example, the descent cowl is also available in a crochet version. So I, I will price that out for you, Helen, and I'll send that over to you for her. Francine Rogers just shared, and Kelly Epsom Richards, your shawl is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. It's a really special shawl, and I'm, I'm going to share that with you. Maybe I'll put this down for a moment, and we'll get back to the swan show, and I'll tell them about this right now. So let me tell you about Straight on the Bias. Straight on the Bias It was created by Iris Schreier, who is the owner of Art Yarns Yarns. And uh, at here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, uh, we carry her merino cloud yarn and the beaded silk and sequins. So this is a fabulous uh, blend of merino wool and cashmere. And the fibers are imported from Italy. And this is a, a kind of between a, a, a fingering and a sport weight. So it's a nice lightweight. It's got a beautiful drape to it. And uh, she actually has a, a team of folks who hand paint the yarn for her with her in her shop. Uh, it's just a beautiful process that they have and they create a lovely, lovely product. I, as I mentioned, I carry this, this product in the shop here. It's very, very special and I love having it and I love sharing it with our fans. So Merino Cloud is, um, if I'm looking at the project colors that I did in my shawl, the one that I'm wearing, I did, oh, no, 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 not that. I did this in my straight on the bias. And I'm going to show you that shawl. I'm going to take it off and show it to you in a minute. Where the heck did the pink go? Where's my pink? Oh, no, it's not there. Oh my goodness. I can't find my pink. Somebody find the pink ombre. There it is. <laughs> right up top there. Can you get that for me, Mr. No, I need the other one too. There. Yeah, that. Thank you. So, so what I did, these are ombres and I used the pink and the gray, and then I used the beaded silken sequins on the trim. So every project that we post on our website, you just using art yarns, yarns, is can be created with or without the beaded silken sequins. So in this kit, let me show you how this pro this project works. And it's, it's a boomerang and it just goes on forever. Um, and I've got it wrapped several times. So I love the I-cord edging on this. I just think an I-cord just makes such a nice clean edge and it creates a design that is really lovely with this. So. Um, in the pattern, if I can recall properly, these are called polka dots or dots. And then it goes to the uh, the garter stitch. 
And then I called these Fleur de Lis just because that's what they remind me of. And then Garter again. And then, so you can see there's a lot of interest in this shawl. Then you go to little squares and you're using, um, you can see that you're using two rows of each color. So you're carrying your colors up the side and then back to the, um, the garter. And then as the shawl gets wider, the squares go into, or, or what are going to rectangles. And you see how the color changes throughout now because the ombre is just light to dark and light and dark to light and light to dark. Then you've got your dots up again here. And then more rectangles and dots and rectangles and dots and rectangles until you get to the top or the, the end. And at the end, oh, uh oh, I have a fix that needs to happen there. At the end, you have your beaded silk and sequin trim. You can see the little sparkle in there. The, the trim yarn is 100% silk with glass beads and sequins. So that is a special addition to your project. Helen Solenberger, I will let her know she was watching yesterday. That's the crochet friend. Oh, okay, cool, cool. And, and I'll be sure to get that out there for her. And so my suggestion on straight on the bias is because after knitting it, I learned that there, I had a good deal of the silk and sequins left. So my suggestion is to put your silk and sequins in all the garter stitch sections, because you'd be surprised how far 110 yards goes. And then you'll still have, you should still have enough to even get a few rows of trim at the end, because when you when you put it throughout your project, you can see the silk the, the sequins more. If you're gonna, my feeling is if you're gonna add them, let's make sure they show. There's a project on the website um, that uses art yarns. Oh my goodness, my goodness! I, I'll find it for you while we're while we're chatting here. It's a solid turquoise blue. And it just has an it's like a lightning bolt of the silken sequins going up the side. That's a gorgeous one. Francine Kaplan Fell, I want that in pink and gray. Okay, well, go to nittygrittyyarngirl.com and in the search bar, type in straight on the bias, B I A S, and you'll find it. But I'll be sure to put that in the comment section if you can't find it right now or if you don't want to stray away from the uh, from this show. So let me show you something else here. We're talking about uh interspersing the beaded silk and sequins uh throughout a project see in this project here this oh by the way this is um breathe and hope by casapinka uh, we put it on our website this this summer using both cotton and wool so we thought the summer would be fun to have a cotton one out there as well so if you can see in here where you've got your little striped sections that's where i put we put the beaded silken sequins. So rather than using the alternate color here, which was the lighter color, we just we just switched that out for the silken sequins. And we did that in all the striped sections. And you can see that there was more than enough in there. Okay, so that's Breathe and Hope. And um, again, that's another, whoops, another um, boomerang style shawl real pretty so see how pretty that shows up at the end when you wrap your shawl you can still see the silken sequins so we have a couple of different projects on our website using art yarns merino cloud and as i mentioned they and we also sell the yarn separately so if you wanted to just buy it for a different project certainly it's available for you and paul if you can show the folks here this is just a variety of the silken sequins that are available like as, a treasure chest. It is like a little treasure chest. Nice and sparkly. Yeah, we all love sparkles, right? When my daughter was five, my mom said, Jennifer, if you could have anything Grammy, if you could have anything of Grammys, what would you like? And my mom was expecting her to look at the dog collection and want one of the dolls. And my daughter pointed to her ring finger at five years old. Sparkles have always been important for girls. <laughs> what is that? Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? So, uh, but we also love to be nice and casual. And the Dottie cowl is a great casual cowl for the season that's coming up. You know, yesterday I was wearing a long sleeve sweater 
and a cape. And today I came down with short sleeves and white slacks on. You just don't know. It's that kind of season right now where you've got those warm days and cool nights. And um, the Dotty Cowl is a great project. And when we when we knitted this, uh, we, we decided to do it two ways. So this, the way the cowl is created, it's a big old tube that you knit. And then it's sewn together in the back to create it. So it's double thickness, nice and warm. And we use Juniper Moon Farms Moonshine. And um, and the other yarn that we use for this is Louisa Harding and the, her Amatola Grande, which is a great soft, squishy yarn. And it's this is really great. So what we decided to do, we created this one. And then we thought, you know, with one more skein, you can make a beautiful infinity cow that you can wrap or you can wear it as a um, a tube scarf. So that's on the website as well. And look at the pretty colors that you can use as your base. It doesn't have to be a white base. So I picked this one up particularly because I love the, the grays and red. And that's a really pretty combination. And then another nice one is this one right here. The, the purples, this is called Hummingbird. Hummingbird is really pretty with the gray and the purple or the blue. So lots of different combinations out there that you can use for this beautiful dotty cowl or the dotty um, infinity scarf. Really great colors. Not to mess up with your flow, but can you get me a pen and a couple of pieces of paper so I can add the, the shares from today? Because we're going to be doing our drawing in just a few moments. Okay, we've got some new sharers. You don't want to, you don't want to break up my flow? All right, hold on. Why don't you give them a quick stroll through there while I grab myself some papers? All right, we did make a promise, and we're going to stick to it. Okay. All right, names that are going in the bucket. Rochelle Worth Price. Yep. Francine S. Rogers. I'm just going to put Francine Rogers. I'll put S there. Okay. All right. Those are the two shares so far. And I wish you ladies luck because in two minutes and 10 seconds, we're going to pull a name. I'll make sure I keep on track. Doesn't he? Um, okay. So going back to our um, Art Yarns Yarns, you can check on the website to see all the different yarns that we have out there and all the different projects. Beaded silk and sequins can be added to any of your projects. So if you're doing something right now that doesn't include that you're not knitting with merino clad, that doesn't mean you can't put sequins with it. So those are available on the website as well. Um, we carry them and we carry over those in, in specialty quantities. So if you order enough, you know, if you order a lot, I may need to order that for you. It takes about two weeks to get them in. But we have a nice supply here and uh, we're very happy to work with you on it. Oh, we need to add Kelly and Epson Richards to that uh, list of possible winners. I'm not checking your the spelling here, folks. So please forgive me when we hold up the card if it's got your name on it and I didn't spell correctly. Anna Maria Milani. Hi, everyone. Did you just share, Anna Maria? Oh, add <laughs> Jody Baldiga to that line, list. Okay. We have less than a minute. Okay. Well, we're doing a drawing for, for, um, uh Oh, don't put that pen away. We have Wanda Leonard, Wanda <laughs> Leonard shared. <laughs> wow. We wish everyone good luck on it. We have uh 36 seconds. By the way, um, talking about sharing and enjoying the show, uh, VK live, I asked you to fill out a survey at the end of the show. I'm going to ask you to fill out a survey too at the end of the show, the, the VK live survey, because it really does help us. I know we're having a fun time here and I don't want to get, I don't want to lose track of why you're here. You're here to learn about nitty gritty yarn girl and to learn about the different projects that we have for you here. Regina Clementi wants to know, is there a discount code? Yes, there is a discount code. 
it is VK Live. And you'll use that discount look code for orders over $50 in the US. And if you uh, if you happen to purchase over $50 and you're outside the US, we will deduct um we will deduct ten dollars from your shipping costs. So we'll refund right. that for you. The time has come to pick our winners. All you right. shake that up and the announcer will grab the name out of it. You know, at some point we're gonna need a barrel. Turn your head the other way so you can't see colors. I can't see anything, actually, see because I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> can you see me? I can see you because you're beautiful. <laughs> okay, we have a winner. We have a winner. And Drum the winner roll, please. is Natural Food Store. Whoa! Natural Food Store shared Nitty Gritty Yarn Girls post. So... Thank you so much, and be sure to uh, private message me. Let me know your address. We'll be sure to post this on the website if you're not on the show right now. And we'll be, um, one of the things fell out. Um, we'll be sending you your free yarn. Thank you so much, Natural Food Store, for supporting us. We have lots of fans, and we never know where they're going to come from. Rochelle Worthprice said, great answer, Paul. And Judy Baldega <laughs> said, you two are a great team. We are. We are. And, you know, we're pretty much like that all the time. We laugh together. We cry together. And that's the way life goes. So let me come back to the Swancho, because I love so Sophie Swancho. You know, sometimes there's a pattern that you look at online, and you go, I like that. It, but the picture wasn't what I what I wanted. So, but I like the whole idea of it. I loved the design. I just, you know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. So I thought I'm going to take this design and I'm going to do a little something different with it. It calls for a DK weight yarn. So I took this lovely sport weight yarn and I paired it with this silky kid put them together to create this effect. Look at that. It's, it reminds me of candy confetti. <laughs> it's like a confetti all throughout with the, with the, um, the silky kid, how it changed the color base. Did you say candy corn? Yeah. Don't forget it. There's no candy corn in the house. And then what I used was the LRA DK Merino for the trim work. So this is really a special piece. You know what? I'm going to throw it on. I'm going to throw it out. I'm going to take it right off because it's warm down here. So, but I do want to show you how fun it is. And this is like um, my sense of my go-to because I hate coats. So I do things like this so I don't have to wear coats. So it's like my sweater when I'm going grocery shopping, when I'm going out in the afternoon. This is my lovely and you know, Nitty Gritty, this is the perfect time of year to be knitting something like this. It is. It's not too heavy. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. Look at that. I hope I put it on the right way. Oh, I think it's backwards. Uh oh, your, your computer's doing funny things. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. I think we just... I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Time to... Oh, no switch around we're still on that aren't we yeah you gotta well it doesn't matter how much sooner you let me know because once the battery goes dead it goes dead <laughs> fortunately we've not lost our signal here here we go okay it's web-based there we are ha! look at that i, just, I feel like reba mcintyre in a concert i can't say share even though she's older than me and now I'm do not, the curtsy I, thing I <laughs> actually i think Cher's the same age as i am so what do you think, guys? I love this swancho. So some of my customers decided they love the swancho, but they didn't want to go through all the holding two, two yarns together and create it that way. So what they did was they used Patagonia. Hold on a second. Francine Kaplan fell said, try to find the kits on your website. I couldn't find them. We'll be sure to post the links in it, and we go through all of the questions. The kits, yeah, I'm not sure which kits it is, which kit it is that you're looking for. Nancy March says, so cute. Do you have kits? Yes. So there are kits for the Sophie Swancho. And there are kits for, well, actually there are two for Sophie's three. One for this one in small, medium, and large. And then the extra large, 
and double X are in another on another post. So you'll find them in if depending on which size you're looking for. And so if you just put in Sophie, S-O-P-H-I is how they spell it. Um, you'll be able to find it on the website. And it's also there in the Patagonia in all different uh, color choices. So it's a great little pattern, keeps your interest. Um, I love the, the mosaic stitching in it. And then the little parallelograms, it's really cute and a lot of fun to knit, keeps you interested throughout. And that's on the website. And if there's, if, if you're, if you can't find something, let us know what it is so that when I go down through the comments and I'm responding to you later, I can actually refer to the project that you're looking at. Cause sometimes there's a delay in the comments, um, you know, from when we show you something to when you comment on it. So it's, it doesn't matter. Spelling doesn't count. Just get it out there and we'll be sure to, um, to find it for you. Francine Kaplan fell. Sorry, I lost you for a while. Is there a discount code? The kit is the art yarn shawl in the pink and gray. Okay, that kit is called Straight on the Bias, B I A S. And I know it's on there because I was on it last night. So if you can't find it now, I will. Um, I don't have my phone down. We respond to all comments. So we'll yeah, be right sure to make sure to put the link in there. Yeah, right after the show. Um, I will comment. I'll respond to all the comments. So I don't know if you saw this one yet. This is called the bucket shawl. And you might have seen the bucket shawl on Ravelry um, in a white background with multicolored flowers. But we decided to do something a little different. Hold on a second. Debbie Hudson Henry, what was what is the name of the sweater you just had on? That's Sophie, S-O-P-H-I. Swancho, S W O N C H O. That's it. Sophie Swancho. Okay, so let me show you the bucket shawl. Isn't that great? Really pretty. I love the way it looks like the, the, the flowers are coming out from the bottom. So when we saw this online and it was knitted in white with multicolored flowers, <coughs> um, my friend knitted it up and she said, I have a vision. And my vision is to see this like a. Um, with the multicolored in the background and a solid color flower. And it reminds me of a, of a Monet, the way it came out. I really do love that. Look at how you can see the short rows, how pretty, you know, the detail in the short rows shows up so nicely there. I just think it's, it creates such a nice frame around the flowers. Andrea Whitmore, that is beautiful. Isn't it pretty? It's called Bucket, B-U-K-E-T-T. And that one is on our website in lots of different color combinations. So we actually, and that again, we use, that's really funny because we use the same yarn for that that we did for the Sophie Swancho. We just paired it up with a different accent yarn. So you just don't know, you just don't know what uh, what's going to work and, and what's going to look great. And let me show you, I'm going to grab something. Life is like a box of yarn. <laughs> you never know what <laughs> you're going to get. Yarn. Uh, a Yeskena yarn, that's Yeskena right. Yarn. Look how pretty these are. Look, you can put this color. Isn't that pretty? That's really a nice one. Um, this has been really popular. The purples. And there's a darker purple, too. This one, this one. Let me, oh, wait, let me get something else here. While you're doing that. Let me travel all around. Let me show them some of these. Leslie Welsh Flaherty, guarantee everyone, and everyone is all caps, that Paulette will answer every question before tomorrow. <laughs> As a matter of fact, she'll do it right after the show. And Jody Baldiga says, on the breathe and peace, what is the difference in the look of the one with the beads compared to the one without? Is it smaller without the extra skein? Great question. No, it's exactly the same size. So the instructions will tell you if you're using beaded silk and sequins, switch to them here. And so it, you'll use the sequins in place of those last few rows on this on the shawl. So you're not losing any length. You're not losing any of your shawl at all. It's, it's exactly the same, just without sparkle in it. And that's absolutely fine. 
for those of us who don't want or need sparkle in our lives. And that's almost, great. Almost like a Sunday, and you have your choice of whipped cream and a cherry or not. <laughs> the Sunday's not a, no more, no more, no less ice cream. It's the same, the same Sunday. So I wanted to just show you a couple of ideas here. You know, you can you can take this and you can either pair it with this for your flowers or but watch this. But wait. You can put that with your flowers and that looks really pretty. And same thing here with this color. So you'll see we have a whole a, a variety of combinations on our on our website when we put kits together so that you can yeah, this is like a little bouquet. Um so that you can, we kind of take the, the mystery out of the skein, but don't think for a moment that you can't change it. If you say, I like this, but I don't want that blue with it. I want this blue with it. Just let me know and we'll switch that out for you. We can do whatever you want. Customization is what we're all about here. And remember, if you see something, say something. That's right. Absolutely. We don't know what you want if you don't tell us. Um, speaking of knowing what you want, I could not get to put one of these together today, but you want to walk on over here and show our folks our knitable arrangements. Ooh. This is a great time of year to think, oops, a little shine there from the lights. Um, a great time of year to think about gift giving. And if you have, if you know someone who loves to knit or crochet and you want to give them a gift and you don't just want to go out and buy a skein of yarn, you can go to our website and find knitable arrangements and we will put together a beautiful bouquet of yarn and we customize every piece. So actually I recently did a bouquet that was made with all um, Merino cloud yarns from, from art yarns. It was a, a, a bunch of friends chipping in for another friend and that way they want to give it. So they had, they found a pattern and they put together the kit for it. It was just three or four skeins of yarn. It didn't have to be, doesn't have to be a lot of skeins. It just depends on what price range you want and what yarn you want. And we can put it all together. Okay. We're getting backed up on comments here. Francine S. Rogers, love all your great projects and your huge selection of art yarns. Their yarns are wonderful to work with. I'm wearing one now. Oh, cool. We'd like take a picture and post it. Please do. And Judy Baldiga, thank you. Helen Solenberger, Jane is my friend, asking about crocheting. And Nora Brodsky, please show your discount cowl, descent cowl again. And Helen Solenberger, love those bouquets. She wants so, to see the descent. Let me show you For the Nora descent. Brodsky. I'm going to actually put it Ooh, on for you. It's a great idea. So just so that you can see what it looks like when a real person wears it, because that kind of does kind of look a little different. But if you can, um, can you just get the back of that for me? Okay, perfect. I don't have to tug on it. You can tell it's a man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was funny. Stop. <laughs> okay, so there we are. So I love the way this falls. It's like a little, like a chain, like a necklace around your neck. Really pretty. Let me show you the, the boy wonder is on. Bryce wonders. Hi, Hello, Bryce. Bryce. How are you? How is, how's life at Spinaway Farm? Hope everything's going well. Bryce is one of the best spinners I've ever seen in my life. He does such great things with, with Angora and makes all these fabulous specialty yarns. You have to send me some so I can show the folks on the show. So anyway, here we are. Your Descent Cowl. This one is knitted with, um, with uh, Silk Garden. Yeah, Neuro Silk Garden, Neuro Silk Garden, right down here. And these are all the different colors that we have. Um, got a bunch of combinations available for you. So you've got your solids and your multis. And we've got a, a full variety on the website. I'm, I'll post one of the crocheted ones on the website as well for our crochet fans. And uh, keep in mind, crochet uses a lot more yarn. So... I'm not, I'll have to adjust the pricing on that and, and the number of skeins that you'll need. Bryce Wonder, dye pots are on. Multiple exclamation points. I will send you some. Thank you. Thank you. I'd love to share them with our, with our fans here. So you can see the variety of the Descent Cowl colors. Oopsie. There we go. I imagine one that was, look at that. Isn't that cute? It's going to be kind of speckly as it goes through. That's a fun color combination. So. That Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she's still keeping us on our toes, right? It's a great cowl. 
and uh, very create, very, very creative. So I mentioned that I was uh, putting together, putting some things up on the website just before the show started. And I had mentioned on our other shows that tomorrow night we're having a Mirasol trunk show with all the new yarns by Mirasol and some of and some of the new colors in their existing yarns. So what you're going to be seeing tomorrow night is um, projects using Huni. Huni is a new worsted weight. I don't know how those got turned the wrong way. Um, a worsted weight, 100% wool. Let me just check that to be sure. 100% wool. Um, it, that's made in Peru. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. This is one of those yarns that you can use for any project, any sweater, shawl, scarf. It's a great workhorse yarn. So we're going to learn about Huni tomorrow night. And we've got Whitney Terrell from, uh, from Knitting Fever and your yarns here to, as our guest tomorrow night. She's, a, she's just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to Mirasol and all the different products that they offer. Another new yarn by Mirasol is Fulu. And Fulu is a chain at construction in a worsted weight. It's really a very, very cool. This is baby alpaca, baby alpaca, merino wool, and 16% um, polyamide. So really very, very pretty yarns. I love this color, this little celery color. It's probably called sage, a bay leaf. This one's a bay leaf. It's a pretty one. But look at all the colors. Look at this variety down here. Looks so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. I love it. And then in Usha, Usha is their super bulky, great selling yarn. Again, the chainette construction works really nicely. This is a super bulky yarn. And I put this poncho on the website today because I thought this was a perfect piece to add as a, uh, a, new, a new piece to show the folks today. And I'm gonna find the name of this on our website. This is called the Georgette Hooded Poncho. Another of those, another of those pieces, great to just throw on and you know run out the door speaking of throw on i think you should throw it on oh, you think so see if it was you changing clothes this much how much you'd enjoy it let me see what i've got here let me put her back on that way and so you want me to try that one on yes okay let me see guys i'm gonna be little blue riding hood Ooh, you brought cookies <laughs> Oh, I don't have cookies. What are you, the big bad wolf? <laughs> All right, let me see. I don't know if I have it on straight. Wow, well, that hood, looks beautiful. The hood is in the middle of the back, so I'm guessing I do. So this is great. It's, you know, it's not super long so that you don't feel like you're, you know, like I'm, I'm short. So you don't want to feel like you're standing in a manhole when you, especially when you wear something bulky. And it's easy to move around in. Super, super fun. And, you know, you can't get easier to knit than this. This is one of those great things that when you're sitting watching TV and your knees like, I don't really want to think about my pattern. This is a great one, isn't it? Super. And you've got a little hood in the back. So if it starts to snow, you can, you can, oh, sorry. Oh, did you, did I take that away? You can just Beautiful. put that hood up and finish your errands. So now I have to take it off. But thank you so much for asking me to wear this. That was lovely. <laughs> All right. Uh, so another great yarn that um, we have here at the shop is put out by Queensland United. And Queensland United has some lovely different yarns. This is Rainbow Beach by... Queensland United, and this is called the Iron Wrap. So I'm a little sweater there with it. Whoopsie, she fell. She started her Sunday cocktail hour a little early. So this is a cute little wrap, which reminds me of the pocket shawl. All it needs is little pockets on it. <laughs> it's perfect. The um, Rainbow Beach, love this yarn. It's a springy, just a great little springy, yarn easy to work with let me show you the colors on this they're fun and they work really nice combining with other this is a great yarn to use for um night shift cowl or the shift um 
we paired it oh here we paired it with another yarn for the always be brave shawl where you have your um rainbow beaches so your rainbow beaches in through here and then we mix the the um other fingering yarn with it the solid and then when on this pattern on rainbow on always be brave you have half of it is in the solid with the multi design and then the other half is in the multicolor with the solid color in your design work so really pretty so rainbow beach is a great little yarn i love the way it knits up i love the way it feels while you're knitting it really very very nice and so you'll find it on our website and back to the shawl that i'm wearing here you can see how those colors work really pretty as they work up great color combinations and the eyewrap wrap is on our reps on our website as well as the um always be brave shawl kit on the website while i'm standing here jj lewis is back hello from arizona navajo nation on near winslow route old 66. oh we're old 66 cool and Nancy March, I sorry, I missed the name of the shawl you are now wearing. I am wearing the Ayer A Y R E shawl, and it's knitted using Rainbow Beach by Queensland United, uh, by Queensland Collection. And you know, so we go from this little pretty diamond design in here, very lovely. Pamela Rose Atkins, love working with Rainbow Beach. That's right, Pamela Rose. You know that because Pamela was the elf who knitted the, uh, the, this um, Always Be Brave for us. And I do appreciate, I appreciate all my happy elves. I call them my elves because they're always here to help me. Oh, so this little sweater is, it's a little sleeveless sweater. I thought it was, oopsie, I'm going to lay her down because she keeps falling but I can't find the name of the sweater right now. There it is. This is called the Eva top and just a little sleeveless top. Great for a, a kind of a cami top. If you're wearing a, a jacket and you need something light under it. So I'm going to put this little wrap back on our mannequin. And Paul is holding a hat that we're going to learn more about tomorrow. This is the Carmina hat and fingerless mitts. Isn't that great? I love this. This is knitted with Fulu. I'm going to, I think I'm going to be a big fan of Fulu. I really do. I love this pattern. Um, this is just mosaic guys. This is not crazy stranded knitting. Okay. It's just mosaic knitting in there and the little fingerless mitts. Let me show those to you. And I love the way, look at, look how the design work is on these. So you start on this, this pattern, I think I was reading where you start with the thumb, you do your thumb first, and then you go to your your mitten. Look at that, Isn't that great. Oops, no wonder it's twisted, twisted stitches, right? So fun, huh? We'll see that tomorrow. Uh, more about it tomorrow. What time is that, Nitty Gritty? Well, honey, what time is that tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. Oh, that's right. You know, I haven't told the the new fans about our show on Monday nights. It's called Twisted Stitches. And Twisted Stitches came about when COVID came about. And I had a big show that I was I was uh, slotted to do in Hartford, Connecticut called Stitches United. And uh, we call it Stitches just for short. And I was just kind of losing my mind because I didn't know what I was gonna do with all the people who, I, who were waiting for us and all the, all the yarn that I had, had gotten to bring to that event. And my husband said, you know what, let's just go online. We're going to go live and we're going to do some shows and we're going to bring we're going to bring stitches to the people. And so that's what we did. And you got all twisted. I got all that twisted stitches and I closed. just said, I'm just twisted that stitches is canceled. And so we decided to call the, the show Twisted Stitches. And um, it, it so that show airs every Monday night live right here on Facebook at Nitty Gritty Arnold. That's Eastern time, eight o'clock Eastern on Monday nights. So join us, like the page, um, subscribe to the page and you'll get notifications every time we go live. Well, that answers Debbie Hudson Henry's question of, are you doing another live show tomorrow? Yes, eight o'clock yeah, PM. Yeah, that's our, our regular Monday night live show. Diane Gondek, how pretty and Rachel Worth Price. Sorry, did you already 
answer my mosaic question. I got disconnected. Mosaic question. I didn't I see, a mosaic, see a mosaic question. question. So ask us again because the answer to did we answer it is probably no because I didn't see it. So please uh, let us know what it is and we will. Diane Gondek, what a great guy. <laughs> Which guy is that, Diane? He's a keeper. Don't humor him though. Okay, there we go. All right. And Diane, thank you so much for tuning in. I was just, we had a lot of questions about crocheting today. I believe you're a crocheter. So we're going to make sure that we have more crochet patterns out there. Uh, so we were talking about twisted stitches. Go ahead, Paul. Was the hat slash gloves a good first mosaic project? Oh. That's um, from Rochelle Worth Price. Okay. So my answer to that is going to be, I'm not sure I would do it for a first project. Only because I haven't, well, I, you know, maybe it would be. But I'd have to read the pattern for you uh, before I say that to you. I mean, it's truly just... Um, I wonder if Ann McClure is on. And well, Knitting Fever and Euro Yarns just shared the link to that. Perfect. Katrina Hat and Mitts. Um, and I wonder if Knitting Fever and Euro Yarn is on because I don't have um, I don't have the pattern in front of me where I could look at the experience level for this. You know, most of their patterns are are intermediate patterns. I'm looking at the shaping on it. It doesn't. I mean, it's really just following the, if you can do a knit one, slip one, that's all mosaic is, you know, and, and let me just show you here, simple mosaic, right? Diane Gondek said, I am, leader dots, thank you, exclamation point. You are welcome, darling, because um, you do follow us, and I love that you do that, and so I want to make sure I have more out there. So this is also mosaic. You're just slipping different stitches. Well, so when you're doing mosaic, you're knitting with the color you're using, and slipping with the color you're not. And that's probably the easiest way to explain mosaic. Um, I might try something like this. The descent, the descent cowl is a nice first project too, because it's an easy, you got the polka dots there. But yeah, let me say this to you. If you are knitting a project that you purchased from Knitted Gritty Yarn Girl, and you run into an issue with it, send me a text message, send me a contact form message, an email, or call me at 203-856-6755. And I mean, you can text me at 911, I'm pulling my hair out and I will call you back. As long as I am not asleep, you will hear from me. Knitting Fever and Euro Yarns, the Carmina hat is knit in the round, but it starts with a cable cast on. Cable cast on is is the easy uh, for me. That's my go to cast on, and it's it's a great cast on. So um, I'm gonna say you, we have the we have the link to that project there. So I'm gonna say let me take a look at the um, the pattern. And I don't know what your experience level is if you've never done mosaic, but you know how to slip stitches and read a pattern. You should be fine. If you like, give Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl a call right after this broadcast yeah, and she'll talk, talk with you. We can talk. So speaking of mosaic, which is one of my favorite forms of knitting because it looks so it looks so hard and it's just not. Um, this is Meet Me at Midnight. And Meet Me at Midnight is a great project using, um, I think it's a Queensland yarn. As a matter of fact, we were just talking about Queensland. No, no, this is Elizabeth of old. So uh, people, Helen Helen Solenberger, what is the difference as far as knitting between the small and large descent cowl? The difference is the size. So in, in the, the large one, I used an Aran weight, which is I actually use Noro Silk Garden. And the actual pattern calls for a um uh, calls for a DK weight. So your difference in the difference in those two cowls is going to be in the size. So in the finished measurements of the, the the cowl as it calls for in the original pattern, the height is going to be nine and a half inches approximately. And the circumference is 26 inches across the front. All right, hold on. We've got a couple around. comments here. Uh, Knitting Fever and Euro Yarn says, I don't know the pattern looks complicated, but I don't knit mosaic patterns. Rochelle Worth Price, advanced beginners and never done mosaic, but I'm sure I could figure it out. You're only a phone call away, which leads me to Nancy March. Phone number again, please. 
888-627-6755. And I will be down here in the studio after the show answering all your questions. So please feel free to give me a call if you have a question. And Knitting Fever and Euro Yarn says, it's yarn. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Swatch to get the hang of it. Right. Thank you so much, Knitting Fever. Let me say this. I tell my people all the time, if you're trying something new, try it on scrap yarn and grab bigger yarn, bigger needles. And, you know, I would say try at least on a on a worsted weight if you have scrap yarn. We all have scrap yarn somewhere in our house and practice. Knitting Fever and Euro Yarns, email her at paulette at nittygrittyyarngirl.com or call 203-856-6755. And Helen Solenberger, thank you very much, exclamation point. Yeah, you'll see the difference in the <coughs> size here of the of the Descent Cowl. And I don't have it. I'm looking for my, my tape measure. I think I have the, I know I have the actual dimensions of the cowl, the finished cowl in this size on our website. And I believe this is a 12 inches, 12 and a half inches deep where the DK weight one is nine and a half inches deep. So you're going to get a much bigger piece. Nancy March says, you guys are the best. Thank you. Uh, we have a good time. We enjoy it. Now, speaking of the it. best, we are over by a minute and nine seconds. Oh, my gosh. Of course, we own the network. So for us, it doesn't really matter. We have a number of people on. Yes, and that's okay. But we make sure that our folks who are with Vogue Knitting Live are, are able to get to the next the next uh, marketplace that they want to attend. So let me just end with this. You know that tomorrow we have our um, Mirasol trunk show at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then two weeks after that, we have on, mon on Monday, October 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern, we have our Jody Long Yarns trunk show. And we've got some fabulous new yarns from Jody. We talked about them over the weekend. So don't forget to put that on your calendar and join us as well that, at that time. Betty Ridgeway Dodd, this was so interesting. Smiley emoji, thanks. Knitting Fever and Euro Yarns, Next Level Descent, Silk Gardens. Put the link on, thank you. And Joan DeRosiers, bonjour from Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Hannah Rubin, <laughs> like the blanket. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. We will see you tomorrow night on Twisted Stitches. 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Make sure to like Diddy Gritty Yarn Girl on Facebook and subscribe to all the notifications. See you then. Thanks. Bye.